The problem of YWAX, although it's not the type of malaria that kill people right away, like falciparum that found a lot in African country, but the YWAX is a parasite that uh, can stay silent as a dormancy in our liver. Infected with Plasmodium vivax is what causes malaria. Plasmodium vivax can hide in liver cells and multiply. Once it gets into the red blood cell, it causes a recurrent fever. The vivax hide in the liver but are systematic, which is why our research is to find out the factors and stimulation of the growth of vivax in liver cells. The only way to find out is to grow vivax in human liver cells. Therefore, the research was conducted by harvesting parasite from mosquito that fed on blood of vivax patient. Then, we can study the growth of plasmodium vivax in human liver cells that has been cultured in vitro in the laboratory. So we work in collaboration with many uh, scientists all over the world. And the work has been uh, sponsored by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and MMV. Uh, they are the two foundations that support the drug screening using our model. So our lab developed the um, condition that you can culture the parasite directly in, uh, in vitro and using the human cell line that we developed. And this is uh, the importance of the study. Once you can grow the parasite, it is easier to study its biology and why uh, we want to understand why the parasite stays silent in the liver for a long time. And this is very difficult for uh, the drug treatment because most of malaria drugs is easy to treat the parasite in human blood. But when it stays silent in the liver, it's not many drugs that can kill, especially the dormancy. And this is uh, a problem when uh, many countries in uh, the region and all over the world try to uh, eliminate malaria. So um, after we finished drug screening, one of the techniques that we use to determine parasites in each well of the culture plates is the high throughput image analysis. So here we use the operator high throughput image analysis system to detect the parasites and compare the number of the parasites from control well in comparison with the testing well. So with the operator machine, we can use for both 96 wheel plate format and 384 wheel plate format. Our scientist is uh, using the operator to screen, to read the results from our test. And with this high throughput image analysis, it speeds up the readout time pretty much. In our lab, we have developed a high-throughput drug screening system for liver stage parasites of Plasmodium vivax. This uh, project is supported by the Medicine for Malaria Venture, and this side-by-side uh, -side compar comparison will be occurred actually here in Thailand this year. And by the end of this year, we hope that we can speed up the high throughput drug screening. And next year, we will fully uh, operate the 384 well plate format for this uh, drug screening assay. With the system that we established, we really hope that it can be used uh, for not only drug screening, we are working with the vaccine uh, development people to try to use this system to screen for a new vaccine that can uh, protect the parasite to get into the liver cell. And if we can uh, be successful, new vaccine, it would be very good. We can screen up to 1,000 compounds and once the uh, 96 well plate has been optimized and 384 has been optimized. That uh, format should be able to help us screen up to uh, 10,000 compounds by 2017. So that's uh, our plan. But right now for this year, we expect to finish the first 1,000 compound screening for anti-malaria drug against this uh, liver stage, Plasmodium virus.